Here's the number one secret to get your cow protectin level down that your GI doctor won't tell you and your holistic naturopathic doctor. They won't, they won't tell you to do this because they don't know about it and it addresses the root cause. My name's Mike to Heal Your Gut Guy. Uh, I used to have really bad Crohn's and colitis. My cow protectin used to be through the roof. I've helped many other people get their cow protectin down and you do it by addressing the root cause. Um, my webinar, watch my webinar after this video and I go into what I'm about to tell you in much, much, much more detail. So calprotectin, what is it? So this is a marker in the blood that shows how much inflammation is in our body. So I help people with IBS, Crohn's and colitis and digestive issues. So usually people who come to me with high calprotectin, they have digestive issues. So what is inflammation is another very important thing we need to understand because people treat it like it's a plague that we need to cut out of the body where in reality inflammation is your body's response to injury so if i were to punch myself right here it would become inflamed and that inflammation would heal the damage that my punching just did now if i punched a piece of steak or a piece of chicken that's that's dead that I'm about to eat, would that tissue become inflamed? The answer is no, because it's not connected to a brain. So why is our brain telling our tissue to become inflamed? It is to heal it, to fix it. So you need to ask yourself the question, why is your gut becoming inflamed? Not like, how do I suppress the inflammation? How do I eat anti-inflammatory foods? How do I take medications that suppress the inflammation in my body? Like a lot of people make these statements like, oh, I want to heal and suppress my inflammation. Inflammation is healing. These drugs that you take, these supplements that you take, they don't heal you. Only your body can do that. Only the inflammation can do that. Only your brain can direct that. So, okay, like, okay, all right, so where are you going with this, Mike? So if we just let the inflammation sit there, it will eventually get better? A lot of the times that's true, but, you know, for those of us watching these videos, that's not true. The inflammation keeps coming back over and over and over and over again. So you're not really doing anything in particular to injure your gut. Like, why is that inflammation still coming back? Why are the cow protectin levels still super high? And so this was discovered by Dr. Hammer. He could look at your brain CT scans and know exactly what conditions that you had. And so essentially, a conflict shock, a stressful event, put your gut into overdrive. And guys, I am grossly oversimplifying this. I go over this in much more detail in my webinar. So forgive me for botching the little nitty gritty details here. So the stressful event put the gut into overdrive and when it's in overdrive, when it comes out of overdrive, it, it needs to heal. It needs to repair with inflammation the damage that was caused by, or the changes that were caused by the overdrive. Okay, so those of you with IBS, Crohn's and colitis and you have a high calprotectin level, Either the conflict is still on and off, on and off, on and off, or you're encountering a lot of PTSD reminders. So to get better, you have to fully come to peace with the conflict shock that put your gut into overdrive, and you have to, at, at first at least, see, become aware of the PTSD triggers that are continuing to put your gut in and out of overdrive and causing that calprotectin level to be high. It is the only way to get the calprotectin. There is no other way to do it. There's no other way to do it. That's the only way to do it. So uh, what's, an, what's an example? So if you've seen the movie uh, Rain Man, it's with Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman and Dustin Hoffman has like autism and you know he can't really think straight and when he would when Dustin Hoffman's character was a kid he his brother Tom Cruise put him in a hot bathtub and burned him really badly and it was a very traumatic event so what would a PTSD trigger so like later on in that video in that movie 
Tom Cruise is giving Dustin Hoffman a bath, and right when he turns the water on, he starts to go crazy. Dustin Hoffman starts to go crazy. The PTSD trigger is the hot water turning on or the bathtub. Now, instead for you, instead of you going crazy like this, you might get emotional, you might get angry, you might get fearful, but you also might not experience any emotions at all. You might have to run to the bathroom. And that overdrive causes the calprotectin to go up. And if you're doing, the, if you're running, if you're running, if you're running into the bathroom 20, 30 times a day, that's 20, 30, 20, 30 times a day you are running into PTSD triggers. Again, I go, I, I am so oversimplifying this right now. I go into much more detail inside of my webinar. But the only way to get your calprotectin down is to find the conflict shock that put your gun to overdrive and find the PTSD triggers that remind you of that conflict shock. You know, maybe when you're getting into the bathtub that, you know, you got burned when you were a little kid and you couldn't get out. Maybe you were also eating a peanut butter sandwich. So also peanut butter and gluten are conflict reminders. Like that's how this works. Our brain is a survival tool. I know this is very different from anything else you heard, but it right, it's right. Okay, you'll start to see it now.